Hey there, welcome back to The Mailbag. My name is Ian Miller. Today I am going to show you how to connect a Peak Designs capture clip to a Shimoda Plus strap. Now the Plus strap is an additional purchase or it comes stock on the Shimoda X70. So let's get right into this. You're gonna need a capture clip. Uh, there's a few different versions of this. I think this is V3, but I'm pretty sure they all will work for this method. You're going to need these longer bolts. If you choose option two which I'll demonstrate you're gonna need the shorter bolt you'll need the Allen key right here and you might need these two coins the first one I'll show you is the standard mounting for peak designs capture clips so we just need to put the longer bolts uh, in take this o-ring and tuck it under the webbing with one bolt in the capture clip you'll want to put this around the back just like this and then you're gonna to want to squeeze the strap so that you can fit the other bolt in so once it's around, you're going to want to grab your Allen key, make sure it's aligned and just get that thread to catch and start tightening it. Now that's a pretty simple way to do it. Tighten it as much as you need to, but at the same time, don't overdo it. So if you leave this clip attached to the strap for a long period of time, it will kind of reform the EVA. So just keep that in mind. So that is pretty much it and you're attached. And of course, you'll just drop your camera in here. Now the second way is a little bit different. We've taken out the long bolts and now we're gonna grab the shorter bolts. So again, get one, one of the bolts going ahead of time. You're gonna use this piece of webbing and now you just wanna thread the back plate through here and start threading the other one down. Now I'm just gonna do a quick demonstration here of why we're gonna use these two coins because if you screw it down, this bolt will end up sticking out. And if that bolt sticks out, it will wear away at your strap and you don't want that. So instead of that, we need to create a shim in here. So we're gonna take an American quarter and we're gonna take this $5 from Hong Kong. Uh, we're gonna put it in here. Now you can use a piece of plastic, uh, anything. Now this just happened to be what I had lying around and I have enough foreign coins that I'm happy to get rid of some. These two coins are of different thickness and there's a reason for that. We're gonna put the 25 cent up top because that's the thinner one. And then we're gonna put the Hong Kong $5 at the bottom. And then we're just gonna tighten it. So these coins do work extra good because they're pretty much the right size. But as you can see here, this webbing takes up probably a millimeter and a half of space. And the American Quarter is a little bit thinner. And since there's no webbing here, the extra depth of the $5 it keeps this uh, nice and even here. Now you'll notice that now the capture clip is going sideways and while initially that'll kind of go against the grain of what you're used to, it's my opinion that this is actually easier uh, way to use the capture clip rather than pushing it down. You can just put it in sideways. So it's gonna look something like this as opposed to this. So that's it. That's how the capture clip mounts to a Shimoda Plus strap. I know we get that question quite a bit, uh, so that's your answer. We'll see you next time on The Mailbag.